Welcome to the Harbour Tech Academy. Today we are going to continue to explore cookery methods and looking at poaching, which is a wet method of cookery. It is beautiful, it um, keeps everything moist. So let's get in and have a look at poaching. In this mix today, we're actually going to have a look at the definition, uh, suitable foods and recipes for poaching. We're gonna look at the characteristics of what poaching food looks like procedures, uh, we'll look at equipment, uh, associated culinary terms, WHS and hygiene, common problems and solutions, and then finally looking at the effect on nutrient value. Poaching is one of those beautiful, slow and very gentle methods of cookery and so, so moist. So it occurs in um, poaching liquor. It could be water, it could be milk, it could be stock. Um, at between 90 and 95 degrees and the key to good poaching is that there is not a um, boiling action happening there might be the odd bubble but that's it it's very very gentle poaching is such a versatile cookery method suitable foods meat and offal generally we'll be using prime cuts of meat for it um, fruit and vegetables, but particularly fruit really lends itself beautifully to poaching. Uh, seafood is amazing when poached, um, and poultry and eggs also, and everyone knows the classic eggs benedict and the poached eggs are just beautiful. This is when I start to get excited when we're actually talking about these beautiful recipes. As I said, poached eggs benedict, one of my favorites. Hollandaise with poached eggs, you cannot beat it. Uh, poached fish, but rainbow trout in particular, whole rainbow trout poached is just amazing. Uh, next, poached chicken salad is just lovely and poached pears which is a real classic these ones here are actually done in red wine and they are amazing yummy i love this photo of the poached egg so we're now going to look at the characteristics and technique so it's generally better for prime cuts of meat and it will um, allow them to remain very tender Characteristics when we're looking, food remains very moist, doesn't lose a lot of its volume, and uh, it's quite shiny with the poaching liquor. Now we move on to a beautiful poached um, barramundi there. So we're looking at the um, flavor. Poached food retains a lot of its flavor, but it's important that you actually use the poaching liquid and make a reduction source to um, intensify that beautiful flavors from the stock. All right, now let's look at um, procedures for poaching. First of all, you're going to heat your liquid or stock up. Remember that if there's some forms of seafood or vegetables, you'll actually poach from cold water. Next, you're actually going to gently place your vegetables or, and chicken into the poaching liquid. Now, it's really really important that you keep it between 90 and 95 degrees on the stove so it's not a rolling boil and that's a big difference. Then finally um, you'll actually allow the food to cool a little bit in the poaching liquor then take it out and I'll always strain that poaching liquor and make a beautiful sauce with it which is very very um, important and the amazing part of poaching. And next is poaching equipment. So we're looking at um, ladles. That's actually a, a fish kettle right there, which you actually put on a stove. Slotted spoons, saucepans, and we can actually use a stove or an oven for poaching. There are some very important associated culinary terms for poaching. First one is to submerge, which means to put the food completely under the water and keep it there. Next one is immerse, so dropping it into the poaching liquor, poaching, then bringing it out. Uh, cartouche, which you might not have heard of, is um, greaseproof paper cut in a circle, actually put over the top to actually keep the food um, submerged. And finally, court bouillon is a um, combination of onions, um, parsley stalks and peppercorns, which you generally use for um, poultry or fish. Poaching is not as dangerous as some of the other 
cookery methods but still a boiling liquids we've got to be aware of um, also make sure you don't get your handles caught and that if you do drop some liquid on the floor make sure you wipe it up straight just like any other cookery methods there are some common problems that we have um, poached fish could be rubbery so let's actually look at the cause of that generally the um, fish could be overcooked or it's been cooked at a higher temperature it actually makes it, it very tough so solution with this is to maintain the poaching liquor but between 90 and 94 if it starts to boil it can actually toughen your meat up next problem food breaks up again cause is the high temperature and things like eggs can actually rip apart if you've got it um, moving around at a rolling boil it's not really poaching then so drop the temperature and cook for less time yep there's more problems that could happen um, meat is tough and particularly with cuts of meat the cause generally is a high temperature which um, cooks for maybe a little bit too long can make it very tough so again maintaining that temperature and poaching a gentle um, and maybe for less time will make a difference next problem um, fruit so when we're poaching apples or peaches um, the common cause of this is that uh, the fruit has not been completely submerged and we can actually use a cartouche to hold it down um, which will definitely help and keeping and maintaining that 90 to 94 degrees will make a big difference so let's look at the effects on the nutrient value there is a little bit of a loss of water soluble vitamins vitamin c and b can be affected but generally this is a very healthy way of cookery and if you use the uh, reduction or the sources that um, the stock will make a big difference and you can maintain the nutrition in this cookery method it's not um, very wasteful so key things is to reuse that poaching liquor for a lovely sauce well there you go poaching is one of my all-time favorite cookery methods remember that we use a range of different cookery methods but this one is healthy keeps food moist and tender thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you for the next cookery method at the Harper Tech Academy.